Well, if it's if it's life or death, sir, he's coming towards you. I mean, that's it, it's an emergency aircraft. There's nowhere else I can put him. No one else has a. Newport News, like I said, was uh, similar as well. So it looks like uh, across the board, it's roughly around 400 overcasts at the uh, surrounding airports. Or 66 Bravo Bravo, just in the maintain 2000. Mooney 66 Bravo Bravo, Roger, Cinema 18, 1,600. Roger, Mooney 2000 for 1,600. Still on us on a heading of uh, 20 degrees over. Affirmative, sir. Mooney 66 Bravo Bravo, you're four miles from Lusty, so heading 200, maintain 1,600 till established on the localizer. Once again, heading 200, 1,600 till you're established. Uh, turning to uh, 200 degrees and stay at 1,600 until established. Mooney 66 Bravo Bravo, with you. 66 Bravo Bravo, Roger, sir. Wind is 23013, gusting 18, runway 23, you're cleared to land. Check your altitude, maintain 1,600. I'm showing you to the south of the final, sir. Uh, turn right, heading of uh, 260, maintain 1,600 till you're back on the localizer. Roger. 66 Bravo, looks like you're established on the localizer. Uh, are, you sh are you painting the same thing, sir? Roger, we're on the localizer, and uh, we're at 1,300 feet. Flight coming down to us. Okay, sir. Uh, no problem, bro. I got the lights turned up to the maximum setting when you come inbound. If they're too bright, just let me know. I'll turn them down real fast. But for now, so you can get the field inside, I have the lights up at the maximum uh, velocity. Chamber Tower 956. Yeah. You don't have a PAR at night anymore, do you? Yeah, we do. Okay. I've got an aircraft on a four mile final for Norfolk. He's having trouble getting in. He's, this is the second airport. Um, trying to get into. If he has trouble getting here, his last just shepherd might be an emergency uh, PAR with you guys. So I'll keep you posted for now. Yeah. All right. And no for time to our question. Yes, sir. You just confirmed the aircraft uh, is a military? Absolutely not. He's a civilian. He, he, this is, it might be his last just shepherd emergency um, if he doesn't make it in here. He's yeah. been having trouble getting down to all these airports here. And I think you guys are the only ones with the PAR approach around here. Yeah. All right. I'll keep you posted, but he's in the approach to Norfolk now. Six six Bravo Bravo, I'm showing you south of the localizer, sir. Make a right hand turn back towards the localizer. Roger. Six Bravo Bravo, I'm showing you way left the course, sir. Um, you able to, are you be able to maintain uh, on the localizer six six Bravo? Roger. Six six Bravo, Roger. Cancel approach clearance, climb and maintain 2,000. 2,000 for 66 Bravo. Go ahead and do westbound, sir. You're way off the localizer. Roger. 6 Bravo, Bravo. You want to attempt this approach again, sir? Or uh, what's your intention? Roger, we'll take another swing at it. Over. Okay, roger that. Norfolk approach. Hey, this is Chambers Watch Supervisor. How's it going? Why don't you turn outbound at this time over at this 66 Bravo Bravo, turn left heading 140, maintain 2000. I do left 140, maintain 2000. I'm sorry, say again, sir. You, you got a plane in distress? Uh, possibly very shortly. I haven't declared it yet, but he's having a horrible time um, getting on the localizer and stand on it and find his aircraft. Um, he's attempted to approach at Suffolk, and I'm trying to get him in at, Suff at uh, Norfolk here. He's been off the localizer um, on and off. He's having trouble uh, doing it, and he's uh, not able to maintain altitude very well either. So could have an emergency situation. 
Um, you're the only airport nearby that has a PAR. All the visibility of the surrounding airports are just as bad as here. Guess, so, but the thing is, is that it, it, we we got to jump through so many hoops to land a civilian plane here. Well, if it's if it's life or death, sir, he's coming towards you. I mean, that's it, it's an emergency aircraft. There's nowhere else I can put him. No one else has a PAR. We don't have one here. Um, he's having trouble flying. If, if I get get a, him, can I get the call sign real quick? Yeah, for now it's six six Bravo Bravo. And it's a Mooney, M20 Papa. Okay. Yeah, that's my last ditch effort. If he's not able to get in here, that's my plan. But uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up to prepare for it if I had to. I appreciate it. Yep, yeah. works. 66 Bravo Bravo, level 2000. 66 Bravo Bravo, Roger. Fly heading 080. 080. 66 Bravo Bravo, what's your fuel state? Got about an hour uh, and 15 minutes over. Okay, Roger that. Are you having trouble with your equipment, sir, or are you just uh, getting pushed around by the wind there on the localizer? Because you've been up and down and left and right of it for the majority of the uh, approach, it seems like. It's literally a washing machine as soon as we go through the cloud deck. cloud deck's at about 1,200 feet. For that, everything's very easy, but yeah, once we get to uh, uh, 1,200 feet, it's a uh, washing machine. Okay, that's that. Would it be easier with a different approach? Did you want to try an RNAV approach, or would you like to stay with the localizer for now? No, uh, localizer way better. Okay, roger that. Um, what, is, what heading is this time over? 6-6, six, six, Bravo, Bravo, turn left, heading 0-5-0. Zero, 0-5-0. Five, zero. Zero, five, zero. Chambers, 956. Chambers, yeah, he's he's got about an hour and 15 minutes of fuel, so I'm going to keep vectoring him around, but uh, if he gets towards an emergency state, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a call again. Roger, yeah. Six six Bravo Bravo flighting zero two zero. I'm showing you about an eighty heading now. Zero two zero heading. Bravo Bravo to cinema maintain one thousand six hundred. Six six Bravo Bravo is actually experiencing moderate turbulence. Uh, there are float, things floating around in the cabin. Okay, six six Bravo Bravo Roger. Thank you for the uh, power up, sir. Flight heading of three two zero six six Bravo Bravo and uh, moderate turbulence. Six six Bravo Bravo, you're three miles from Love Sea. Flight heading of two six zero. Maintain one thousand six hundred till established in the localizer. Clear to ILS runway two three approach. Roger. Uh, two six zero. Uh, we're having a lot of pre session with our uh, gyro. Don't know if uh, the turbulence uh, disrupted it. At all possible, uh, radar vectors would be appreciated on the glide slope. I mean, it's uh, a very, very wild ride. Okay, I'll try and give you the best I can on the no gyro, sir. Um, do you want no gyro, sir, or do you just want corrections as best as possible? Uh, we, we have some gyro, it appears. We have to reset the um, gyro periodically in the descent. Uh, but yeah, if you can give us some corrective uh, feedback, that'd be wonderful. Okay, Roger, sir, you can expect that. Track in 260 for what you can tell. 6-6 Bravo, let me see if I can zoom in here. You're, you're going so slow, I'm not getting much of a uh, any type of history or track. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. We're going to join the localizer now. Over. 6-6 Bravo, I'm showing you on about a 260 heading, yes, sir. And uh, you said you're able to make the turn to join? Roger. And I'll uh, keep a close eye here now that you're on it and tell you if you're right or left. Bravo, Bravo. The current weather is uh, 0, 0, 0, 008 58 Zulu, 220 at 1 Niner, gusting 23. Visibility is 2.5. Mist, ceiling is 300 overcast. Temperature is 08, 2.07. Altimeter is 2992. That's the latest weather here at Norfolk. Roger, 2992. We had it set higher. Still looking on track there on the localizer. It's looking good at the moment. Roger. Take your altitude a couple hundred feet high, uh, 1,600 for now. I'm showing 1,600 over. Okay, Roger. You might have just got bumped up there with the turbulence. Showing 1,800 right now currently for you. Um, and just confirm we're on altimeter is 2993. 2993. Checked our fuel situation, uh, and uh, we got about a half hour, not an hour and a half, so I 
Okay, sir. Roger that. Six Bravo Bravo. Are you making a right turn to correct? Roger. Miles from the uh, approach in here. Start left turn. Six Bravo Bravo, stop turn. Six Bravo Bravo, start right turn. Right turn. Stop turn. Six Bravo Bravo, stop turn. Six Bravo Bravo, you're about a mile and a half from the uh, depart or, uh, approach in. Is the field on the uh, six six Bravo Bravo? Six six Bravo Bravo, wind two three zero one three gusting one nine runway two three. You are cleared to land, sir. Six Bravo Bravo, do you still have the field, sir? I'm showing you north north west of the field now. Six Bravo Bravo, over. Bravo Bravo, over. Caddy Reed. Rescue one, over. Caddy Reed. Rescue one, are we ground clear? So I think we might have had an aircraft just go down northwest of the field, two miles northwest. Uh, rescue on you guys set off the tent station. Yeah, I already hit the button. Six Bravo Bravo, Norfolk approach. How do you read? Uh, 